So hello from Green Mopers at Strawberry Hill. So today we're going to give you a static review of the Super Soco TC Max, which is the latest bike from uh, V-Moto in the UK. Um, it's essentially uh, an upgrade, if you like, to the Super Soco TC. So we've uh, put it alongside that bike to give you a sort of comparison, if you like. Um, we'll just walk around it and uh, give you some information. So. This is uh, 1.9 meters long. Um, as you can see, there is a, a spoked wheel version and then the alloy wheel version. The spoked wheel version is actually uh, 200 pounds more. Um, the bike can take a weight of 150 kilos. Okay, It's 1.9 meters long, which uh, is pretty standard for these sorts of bikes. If you look down the back here, uh, it's pretty much the same length as a Super Soccer TC. Um, here you see also that it has got this rear rack as an option fitted on this bike, whereas the, the normal rear end is uh, more of a handlebar grip. Um, so this obviously enables you to take a top box on the bike. You'll notice that there are actually quite a few shared components between the TC Max and the TC. If you come around to the front here, you'll see that these lights are standard, indicators standard, forks the same. Uh, in fact, a lot of people are uh, considering, because the only colour right now is black in the TC Max, of actually swapping some panels from the TC onto the TC Max. So in fact, uh, this panel, this panel, although slightly different design and the uh, lid are actually transferable. Uh, one of the things that you will notice about the TC versus TC Max is that there are uh, handlebars like that on the TC, whereas the TC Max is uh, flat, which means you are sort of uh, leaning a bit more forward as you probably would on a sports bike. The difference in height between the handlebars uh, of the two bikes is about seven centimeters, i.e. you're seven centimeters more upright on a TC. Um, the uh, dashboard is the same, uh, reservoirs are the same, brake levers are the same, uh, The this whole rear end section is obviously the same, these pedals are the same, but from a sort of performance perspective, the bikes are a lot different. Uh, the main difference is that the TC is a 1500 watt bike whereas this TC Max here is uh, that's nominal um, the TC Max here is uh, nominal of uh, three kilowatts so it's twice the power um, also a uh, difference would be that the, uh, the the performance of a TC Max is 170 Newton meters versus uh, 120 Newton meters on the uh, the TC so it's a, a lot more performant and the end result of that is that uh, this bike is uh, rated to go at about uh, 58 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour, whereas the TC Max D restricted uh, would, sorry, the TC D restricted would go about uh, 40, 45 miles an hour. Okay, so you're getting uh, a lot more performance, uh, if you like, for your money. Um, another major difference is actually the mechanics. So here you see on the TC you have a hub motor so all of the engine if you like is uh, embedded in the rear wheel um, when you get into bigger performing bikes uh, the situation is normally changed for it to be a belt with a centrally mounted motor uh, the reason for that is that uh, eventually you run out of space within your rear wheel to put a motor into it plus also the weight of the actual bike uh, sorry of the motor itself hanging off the, the rear end um, the slight difference in that is that you'll see that this rear arm here is actually um, a bit of a different design to the rear arm on the TC um, and here on the TC you have uh, essentially just the, the ability to adjust your foot pegs um, whereas on the TC Max the motor is actually behind uh, that uh, circular grill there. Okay, so another thing that you'll notice is that the uh, the TC Max has uh, uh, pedals that will actually move in if you were to catch them on a curb um, and also a rear stand 
that uh, is a bit more substantial than the standard stand and these foot pegs on the TC which uh, don't give um, <coughs> which could mean that they ended up they end up being uh, bent uh, if you ever knocked over the bike or came off it so this is the the battery on the TC Max so on the TC uh, there is actually space underneath the lid to uh, have two batteries although the, the TC battery is more sort of this size uh, in a column form whereas on the TC Max they've obviously have to make it as, as big as possible so they've actually consumed the entire space under the lid with a battery um, <coughs> it's 72 volt 48 amp hours and 3.2 kilowatt hours is, is the uh, 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 capability of it which is uh, estimated to give you about a 60 mile range that's the quoted maximum range um, we've ridden this bike on numerous occasions and the last time we did it we weren't particularly conscious of how we rode the bike we just rode it as we would normally and we got about 40 miles out of it and still had about 22 percent left so if you extrapolate that you're talking about probably a good 50 miles <coughs> maybe not as much as 60. Um, here you see that they've uh, um, brought out a, a different charger 83 volt 5 amp supercharger they call it um, <coughs> in reality that will still mean that the charging time of this bike is going to be something like six hours if you were to run it flat we don't um, typically suggest that you do that there's not a particular problem for you to do that uh, but certainly if you were to store the battery maybe off the bike or over winter or something you would charge it to at least 50 percent and you would also follow the typical advice of not leaving it outside over winter keeping it indoors you know protecting it from frost and, and what have you <coughs> okay so again going round um, here on the, the dashboard you can see that uh, the bike is actually on and it's saying that we have a 42 mile range with 97 percent battery um, the way you adjust your modes is simply by changing these levers here and as I do that uh, you can see it goes from down to 54 miles on mode 2 80, um, 42 miles on mode 3 and 84 miles on mode 1 with 97% I wouldn't particularly expect you to get 84 miles out of this bike um, but that's really the, the calculation that the, the dashboard is doing so you have standard sort of features here you have your uh, brake reservoirs um, and as for maintenance of this bike one of the things that uh, the book tells you about which we'll show you in a minute to maintain this bike is to actually check the fluid level within these reservoirs so you could do that yourself there's a minimum and maximum there um, if you needed to uh, top that up you could simply go to Halfords and buy the appropriate um, <coughs> fluid and just do it yourself there would be no requirement to uh, to bring it back okay and here we have uh, you know, normal stuff like beams and indicators which is the only noise that this bike will make um, as uh, I've said this bike is actually on so um, there's nothing else to hear about it it does give some sort of um, whirring sound when you use it unlike the TC which is totally silent um, and then this button here is the ability to um, actually put the bike into ready mode or standby mode so this P here means that it's actually in standby mode right now so means that the throttle doesn't work um, as the stand is down we cannot put it into drive but um, essentially what you would do is put it put, kick the stand up and then put the bike into drive by pressing this button and away you go as simple as that okay another difference between the two is obviously that uh, this bike now has uh, ventilated disc brakes compared to uh, non ventilated on the TC max uh, sorry on the TC um, <coughs> and then to just show you uh, what's on the lid if you like so this is the uh, battery obviously in situ as it were and this cable here is uh, obviously when it's in use um, if you were to charge it with the battery on the bike you would connect this lead and then you could charge it through this port down here so you could just undo this port plug in your charger close the lid and leave the um, uh, the battery in place okay um, there is uh, a bit of an art about putting these back so that you can close the lid 
but uh, as long as you tuck it down the side there you're okay. Um, there's also a kill switch down here and notice here that there is uh, a lock for the battery so even if you could break into this the battery is actually locked into the bottom of the bike so you can't lift it out even if you wanted to without the key. Uh, one little tip about this is that if you do actually put the key in there to unlock the battery and take out the battery do not close the lid with the keys in because uh, you need the spare key to enable you to get the the bike uh, the battery out. So this is the um, instructions and, and the booklet that comes with it uh, as you see you get a spare fob and a spare key and as an indication of the sort of uh, maintenance that you have to do on this bike if you read down here so this is after 300 kilometers goes all the way up to 17 uh, thousand kilometers essentially what you're doing is checking brake fluids checking tires <coughs> and then the rest is um, nuts and bolts essentially okay fastings nuts and bolts fastings etc etc okay so as you can appreciate with an electric bike you are getting away from a lot of the maintenance aspects that you would have to do on a petrol bike there's no oil to be changed no uh, lubrication to be done on on anything um, having said that on this bike because there is a belt involved here you can see the belt going around the rear wheel down here um, you would at some point uh, be checking that to make sure uh, it's still uh, tight okay so it's quite a stylish bike as you see um, the ride height is about 71 centimeters um, it weighs the back the battery weighs uh, about 20 odd kilos which means the weight of this bike over the the TC has gone up from 87 kilos to more like a hundred and a little bit so it's still quite a light bike it's pretty narrow as you can see so you can get through traffic uh, very easily um, the uh, other thing that we're going to do shortly is to take it on a, a test ride to, to actually check the you know the, the top speed we've done a review on this bike already but uh, that was on a pre-production model um, so we will be testing out the actual top speed and then lastly really just to talk about the security on the bike so um, <coughs> With the key fob, there is an actual alarm, which uh, you can use obviously to uh, secure the bike. There's also this um, down here, you see there's a steering lock, and if you play about with that, as you can hear, the alarm goes off, so that's the alarm. And one of the other uh, features that you get on this bike is, if you have the alarm set and you try and move it, the wheels are actually locked, so I can't, this rocking backwards and forwards is essentially what the bike is doing on its own. So it's quite a neat feature that um, you're actually stopped from even rolling the bike away, even um, uh, though it, there is no physical lock, the steering lock wasn't on or anything like that. Okay, so all in all, um, it's a, a good upgrade if you like from the TC. Um, <coughs> It's also classed as a, a, a good 125cc bike. The, the TC can be made a 125cc equivalent when you de-restrict it, but the uh, TC Max uh, does come as a 125cc equivalent out of the box, which means uh, in electric terms, that's an L3E category bike, which means either an A1 license or CBT plus L plates. Okay, so you will need to have at least, uh, if you want to ride this without, uh, L plates you need to do at least an A1 license okay which is um, a test that you can go through <coughs> the next one above uh, a CBT if you like okay so hope you found that useful uh, more information is obviously available on our website and if you would like to organize a test ride then please let us know and uh, come down to Strawberry Hill and we'll be happy to oblige thanks very much